So it's all YouTube's fault. Their algorithms, their recommendations. Video came across for odd tinkering, fixing a PS1. And I thought, I can do that. I can do that. So I ended up watching more, watching more P PlayStation stuff. That brought me into Spawn Wave. Started watching Spawn Wave talk about more video games. More video games brought me into Retro Rick. Retro Rick brought me into video game collecting. I spent the last few months collecting some stuff I've always wanted and some stuff that I thought would be cool. So we're gonna go over a few things that I've got since about November. And then in the next video, you guys will see what I picked up this February. And then I'm gonna start my own video game collecting series. And what I'm probably gonna end up doing is taking one of my doubles, selling it, whatever money I get from that is what I'll end up taking and starting a new collection and seeing where I can go from there. So we'll start with what I've started collecting now from November all the way into February. And then I'll start another video and we'll do what I got in February. So here's what I started with. So here's everything I've got. Basically what I've got are some over here on the right, some old consoles. I've had a 360 for a long time, an Xbox One for a couple of years. And then everything right here sort of breaks down to something I used to have, something I've always wanted, um, or just something that brings back a memory. So I'll go through each one of these sort of by themselves and either go through the games or how I got it. Um, and we might be mentioning some pricing on some of this stuff because there's a few things like the Vita, PSP, the Game Boy, a bunch of this stuff. I feel like I got a really good deal. I'll sort of see on the Super Nintendo, I got it as a bundle with some other stuff and it came with a couple box games. Um, this was one thing that I actually got shipped to myself and the bad part is is it got crushed during shipping so ps2 is probably gonna end up being something i'm gonna get rid of and end up trying to collect another one something with a lot nicer box same thing sort of on the black gamecube it's a uh, complete in the box the box is a little little rough and then my Japanese GameCube. It has been modded, so it plays USA games. Um, I always wanted an orange GameCube. I had a GameCube back in like 2000 or 2004. Sometime after they came out, I was not part of the first wave of GameCube owners. Um, but I got rid of mine. I had two different ones. I had a Indigo and I had a Black. But I always wanted the Spice Orange, and so that was one of the first things I actually started collecting for myself after watching everybody's videos. And then it really got into some things. What else did I want? What else did I think would be cool to sort of have? Um, I had a Game Boy Color when I was real young. I had Sarge's Army, I believe. And so I wanted to make sure I got another one and I got this one. It's actually an adult owned and the guy only played Tetris on it. So it's very clean. It came with the rubber casing. It came with another Game Boy case. And then I have a Game Boy Color travel case to go with it. Um, the Game Boy SP was something I actually got in town local to me. It is a 101, so it is full backlit. I got Pokemon Blue from another person. Um, Super Mario 3 came with this, and I only spent $20 on it. It's in a little bit of rough shape, but for 20 bucks, a backlit, I figured I was doing okay. PSPs, I loved PSPs. 
I had one growing up, and so I actually have been collecting PSP stuff for a little over a year now. Um, I started on PSPs really before I started on anything else. I kind of fell off and then started back after I saw the Spawn Wave videos and started wanting to get back into GameCube collecting and following some of the other retro video game collectors. Um, but let's see, I have quite a few movies and games at the moment, so let's see what I have. So on the left is all my games, the middle and the right stack are all my movies. I had about twice as much of this. Um, I went through and grabbed a couple of the doubles I had for games. I actually had a couple doubles of movies from getting different lots and combining all of them. Um, I got rid of about half of it. I traded it off for some other stuff that I didn't have and ended up selling some of those things to get more money so I can collect some other things. Um, my favorite thing to play on the PSP has to be Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I spent a lot of time playing that as a kid, and when I got my PSP again, I spent a lot of time replaying the game. As far as movies go, my favorite movie for the PSP has to be Terminator 2. Um, that was one of my favorite movies as a kid, and so it's nice to have that again on the PSP, being able to watch it, you know, sort of whenever, wherever. I just love the fact that the PSP was as awesome as it was. Even still today, it feels pretty great to play. The PSP Go. I always wanted a PSP Go. Always wanted a white one. I found a relatively clean one on the internet. Um, I got this off of eBay. It was actually shipped from Canada. It is a USA version. Um, it has everything in the box. The box is not the best of condition, but the PSP itself was actually in great condition. And finally, the PS Vita. I always wanted a PS Vita, but the time they came out, it just wasn't something I was too terribly interested in, but I always wanted a white one. So what I ended up doing was I looked around for quite a while and I found one locally and it was black and it came with a 32 megabyte Vita card and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So I bought it, I ended up putting it up on uh, Facebook Marketplace, ended up selling it for about $15 more than I bought it for and I kept the 32 gigabyte card and Marvel Capcom 3. The white Vita I got for the same price and was actually in a lot better condition. It was $100. Um, it came with Minecraft on it loaded, a four gigabyte card, and it came with Uncharted. Um, I haven't started to play Uncharted yet. I actually started to only play Minecraft. I played for about 30 minutes. And then I've been playing PSP Go, I've been playing Spyro, and I've been playing Pokemon Blue for the first time. Um, and so that's been filling up most of my time. But the Vita has been awesome. It is a first gen OLED. I wanted the OLED, I wanted a white. And so I'm glad it's, it's finally in my collection. So I love Super Nintendo, and there's a few games on Super, Super Nintendo that I love playing. One of them is Street Fighter, so I'm glad to have a box copy of it. Super Mario World is a fun game. Top Gear I haven't played, and I was never a fan of Star Fox. I played Star Fox on Nintendo 64, was not my game. So I have a pretty nice example of the Super Nintendo. It does have some yellowing on the corner a little bit. Other than that, it's not too bad. It's one of the nicer ones I've actually seen. I ended up getting this from a friend of mine. This was his original console. And I was glad I got one from the original owner. Works great, everything is awesome. All the controllers work. Uh, it, I was just glad to get this. I ended up spinning about $120 on this whole set. But the Super Nintendo was a big console to me. I spent a lot of time um, in the summer 
as I was young playing at a summer camp. This and the Nintendo 64. I spent a lot of time playing Street Fighter 2 and a lot of time playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So Zombies Ate My Neighbors is one game that I've been looking for. But it's a game that in the wild is just sort of hard to find. The PS1 is another console I started collecting. Um, the reason for it was is I spent a lot of time with my brother when we were young playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater just all the time. And so that was really fun to go back and play some of these games. I actually got some time this last Thanksgiving to play with my brother and it was really fun to get back into trying to beat each other, acting like we were kids again. And then it was also entertaining to see his two kids look at us like we were idiots playing a PlayStation 1 having so much fun when all the graphics were just absolutely terrible. But me and my brother played a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater and a lot of Sled Storm, so those were ones I wanted to get for nostalgic reasons to go and play with him again and play for myself over again. The other three here, um, I remember being babysitted and my babysitter had seen Sim Theme Park and so it was just one of those things. It was a cheap game. I only spent like $3 on it. It worked. Uh, I just wanted it for the nostalgic reason. Same thing with Army Men 3D and Soviet Strike. It was just a couple games that I remember playing and that I remember being fun that I just wanted to add into the collection itself. The Nintendo Wii. I don't have much to say about the Wii. I haven't even tested it since I've acquired it. I've only played a Wii, I think, two or three times in my life, the couple of the sports games. It really wasn't too interesting to me, but I had a lady offer it to me, and it came with new Super Mario Bros, two controllers and a nunchuck, and a wheel for Mario Kart, but it didn't have Mario Kart. But I got all of that for 40 bucks, I know usually the console itself in a nice Wiimote is about $80 at the moment, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to add it into the collection and uh, start collecting a few games for it. One thing I would really like to do is play Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Wii, which is why I sort of wanted to get it for myself. Not that I really want to go into really trying to collect a lot of things for the Wii, like I do with some of the other consoles, but I figured it'd be pretty fun to play a couple of the old games like that on. So I am very partial to Xbox. Xbox, the original, was my first console. So I've spent a lot of time over the years playing Xbox. Um, my collection is not that big. I've actually gotten rid of my Xbox is a couple of different times over the years. So I've only had this 360 for maybe about four or five years, maybe six now. And I've had the Xbox One for about two, two and a half years. I don't have many games. I can go through those here in a second. Part of the reason why I love Xbox so much was for all the Halo games, and that was real fun to always play in parties. What I ended up doing was, I wasn't a huge fan of video games, and I actually still am not. What I like doing is collecting things. So for the last 10 years, the only thing I even played on Xbox was Forza 4. And so I finally started getting back into some other stuff and I bought San Andreas and I've been playing through it over the last year um, on and off. I just don't spend that much time on video games, but Xbox has to be my favorite console series. And here is my Nintendo Switch collection so far. I've wanted a Switch for a long time, so what I ended up telling myself while I was buying and selling some of these retro video games I was gonna go out and try and find everything I could so I could turn around and sell it to try and get a Nintendo Switch. Everything that I made off of profit went into a fund. That way I could finally get the Nintendo Switch. So about three days before the Super Mario one came out, I finally had enough money 
and I heard this was coming out, so I went and got it, got one. I had checked all over town and there wasn't any to be seen anywhere. And finally I found one at Target. After calling all the Walmarts and calling all the game stores, Target actually ended up having three or four of them. So I was able to get one. I didn't want to buy any games at retail for it, but I ended up having to splurge on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I didn't have a game to play when I bought it, so I wanted something and I figured this would be the best way to get obviously multiple games at once. A bunch of games that I wanted to play. One of the things I got rid of for the Switch was a Nintendo 64 with Super Mario 64. I'd never played through the whole game, so I wanted to really bad. So I figured this was gonna be obviously the best way I could do that. Super Mario Sunshine, I remember when I was young, obviously came out on the GameCube and I wanted to play it real bad and I never ended up even renting the game before I got rid of my GameCubes. So I'm excited to play that and Super Mario Galaxy. Zelda Breath of the Wild, I ended up getting for $30. I've never played a Zelda game and I'm only about an hour into this one and I'm already loving it. It's been a great game so far. And Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I ended up getting this in a bundle with some other stuff that you'll see in the next video for some stuff I've collected. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is, I ended up getting it for I believe $30. I ended up, like I said, I had it in with a bundle of everything else, and I think I, he had it listed for 35, and I told him, throw it in, I'll give you 30 bucks for it, and he said, let's do it. So, this is my Nintendo Switch collection for the moment. I'm hoping I can get a lot more stuff here coming up. Um, things are definitely going up for sale and starting to be cheap. One of the next things I want to get for it specifically is Animal Crossings. I have it for the regular GameCube. One of my favorite simple games to play. Uh, I played it all the time for when I was young and had it on my original GameCube. So for me, it's just one of those nostalgic things. It's just a fun game to play. So I didn't show the games for my Xbox 360. Everybody's seen San Andreas and Call of Duty. Um, and everybody's seen sort of the games on GameCube. Um, so all I really had on GameCube was Animal Crossings. I have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I always call it Sonic Adventure Battle 2, but it's Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Another game that, you know, games I just played when I was younger that I ended up wanting to go through and try and play again. Um, so this is just all my gaming stuff. This is a very odd perspective from a gamer. I was never huge into video games. I played Forza 4 for about 10 years. I didn't end up getting any new games, never got any older games to replay. I just played on and off for 10 years Forza 4. I was always into racing games and that was really the only thing I ever had. Um, except for the few things you know I talked about like Tony Hawk and Sonic and some of the stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys from not a big collector's or a, a real in-depth gamer. I was just an average gamer and this is just some of the stuff that I enjoyed that I ended up wanting to show you guys. So basically we'll take that second copy of Animal Crossings and we'll sell it and we'll see what we can get out of it to further the gaming collection. And we'll just start with that money and just work forwards. I do have a video for what I ended up sort of collecting in March. Um, this was some stuff I've ordered. I haven't opened it yet because I sort of regret doing what I did. I ordered games instead of finding games. And then I have some stuff over here. You can see a Spice Orange GameCube controller, so we'll let that out of the bag now. But I found some stuff at a local pawn shop um, and a flea market. The guy at the flea market has some retro gaming stuff. Uh, that's all he does. And so he ended up having something else I'd been looking for and he had it for a pretty good deal. So we'll take the few things that I ended up collecting in February and that are supposed to be arriving in March and here in probably, oh, about a week. 
we'll end up going through everything that I've got that's new. And then we'll progress from that point for whatever the Animal Crossing game sold for. We'll take that money and only use that money to further everything else. You'll see me trying to go out and buy stuff and sell stuff. Um, if there's something you guys sort of want to see that you think I should be collecting, I should get my hands on now before the price jumps up. Something that was great that the price has maybe gone down on now. Leave me a comment. You don't have to like, don't have to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me something you know about video games. Something that you always enjoyed. Um, just give me an idea. So thanks for watching.